Do you hear that? Yes, it's time for Stories with Jen and my trusted reading partner, Wally the Wombat. What's that, Wally? Please say hello to Wally. Yes, Wally, they're saying hello to you. Wally says hello back. Wally is so excited about today's story. Oh, you're going to love it. It's called Miss Felicity's Hat, written by Michelle Coleman and illustrated by Isabel Lopez. Michelle's books are published by Smidgen Books. Thank you, Michelle, for giving me permission to read your book today. Miss Felicity is a teacher and she loves to take her children out every day into nature to discover the magic in nature, collect some things, treasures they call it, and bring them back to the classroom. Miss Felicity's favorite to collect is feathers. Oh yes, she loves feathers. I do too. <laughs> Can you see what she's collected there? Ooh, Miss Felicity does something special with her feathers. Shall we find out? Mm, let's get started. You're sitting comfy? Good. I collect treasures every day. Oh, look, there she is, collecting treasures. Ooh, I wonder what she's going to find. Sometimes I find magic stones. Sometimes I find lizard bones. Sometimes, if I'm lucky, I find a feather. Oh, look at that. I think she's found two. She's even put one in her hair. Soft or sticky feathers are the best treasures. Oh, look at that. I know this because Miss Felicity tells me I love it here under the great rain tree. If I have enough feathers, maybe I can fly, says Miss Felicity. Ooh. I give Miss Felicity my new special feather. Ungard and Nicholas have bought some feathers too. There's her feather, Ungard's feather. What color is Ungard's feather? Red, yes, that's right. And look at Nicholas's feather. Isn't that so special? What an interesting feather. Can you see the spots? Wow. What is she doing with them all? She's walking away with them. I think she's making her own beautiful Butterfly wing, says Ling Fei, flying around the room. I think she's making a flying machine, says Nicholas, like this. Brum. Maybe she's making a big fluffy pillow, says Xavier, so she can fly in her sleep. Oh, how exciting would that be? I don't know what she's making. But I can't wait to find out. Hmm, I sneather. The monsoon is here and outside it looks like a river pouring from the sky. We look closely at Miss Felicity's feathers. There are so many different shapes, colors and patterns. A monsoon is when it rains very, very hard. Look at them looking at all those interesting and beautiful feathers. What colors can you see? Look at that interesting one. Brown at the bottom, blue at the tip. And how's that one? Red at the bottom, yellow at the tip. And can you tell me what that one is? Did I hear you say black and white? Oh, you are clever. And there's Nicholas's feather with the spots on it. How interesting is that? Which 
one sings to you? asks Miss Felicity. I like this rainbow feather, says Ungard. I like the spots and stripes, says Ling Fei. The tall ones make great swords, says Xavier. I like the one that's like a puff of blue smoke. Look at all those lovely feathers they've collected. The next day, the sky turns to steel and a strange, strong wind is on its way. Mum and Dad say it's a cyclone called Marcus. There is no school today, and rightly so. Much safer to stay indoors when a cyclone is on the way. Mm. We stay at home, listening to the radio and playing board games. Outside the wind roars and the palm trees bend like spaghetti. Do you enjoy playing board games? I love board games. My granddaughter's favorite board game is the unicorn game where you have to match the unicorn's bottom with its head. When you've got a match pair, off you hop over the rainbow with your unicorn and the first player to get to the pot of gold coins is the winner. Oh, she loves that game. It's her favorite. My grandson, he loves snakes and slides or snakes and ladders as it's sometimes called. Hmm, I wonder why. Where will the birds go, I ask. Don't worry, says Dad. Birds can tell when a storm is coming. Oh, yes, they can. They are very wise. After the cyclone passes, we go outside and see that it has brought down huge trees. I wonder if it hurts being ripped out of the ground by your roots. Hmm. What do you think? Hmm. I can't hear or see one single bird. I can't find one single feather. Oh dear. That's because the birds have flown to a safe place. Back at school, our special rain tree is gone too. Oh, we'll plant another one soon, says Miss Felicity. We play in the hole where the roots used to be. Nicholas makes a mud pie for Miss Felicity. When will the birds come back? I ask. When they are ready, says Miss Felicity. The next day, everyone is in a rush. Hurry up, says Mum. And then I see it. A pink feather. Oh, can you see the pink feather? My heart sings and my tummy tingles. I reach down to grab it, but a gust of wind whirls it away. Oh dear, there goes the feather. Oh my goodness. Suddenly, hands are snatching wildly. Mine, out of my way. I saw it first. Everyone wants that pink feather. Stop. I shout. This is a feather. Oh, she found it. Jolly good. Oh, lucky, lucky. I carry it gently to the classroom. <gasps> ah, says Miss Felicity. It is the feather of a rose-crowned fruit dove. And I know exactly what to do with it. When Miss Felicity comes back, in her hands is the most glorious thing I've ever seen. This is my hat, she says. I was just missing one last feather. Rachel, do you want to be the first to wear it? <gasps> How lucky is Rachel? Look at that beautiful hat. All those interesting feathers that they collected. And the birds came.
come back. Oh, how wonderful. And look at Rachel dancing, wearing Miss Felicity's feathered hat. The end. That is a photo of Miss Felicity. And can you see her basket with feathers in? And she's put some in her hat. Yes. How wonderful is that? Oh, what a lovely, lovely story. Did you enjoy it? Why don't you take a walk in nature? Better still, why don't you go on a scavenger hunt? Yes. Ask your mum or dad or your carer to go to a computer. Type in www.smidgenbooks.com.au to download this copy of A Scavenger Hunt for free. Yes, as you can see, I did it. And my grandson and granddaughter, oh, and me, we had such fun on this scavenger hunt. We found the rock, we found the feather, we found the stick. The insect was very special and we found a leaf. Oh, we thoroughly enjoyed it. And you will too. If you enjoyed that story and would like to hear more, click on the link below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Further down, you'll see instructions to join my Facebook group. And why not follow me on Instagram? Until next time, from my trusted reading partner, Wally, and myself. What's it? I oh, know, it was a good story, wasn't it, Wally? <laughs> Keep on reading. Bye. See you.